what's the prospect for GKL now in the environment of our prices now? Okay, uh, just a, a, a recap. The Kungsu Kaka uh, uh, FPS, the voting version system, is a semi sub. Uh, it's been built for a 25 year charter and to be deployed at the Kungsu Kaka field. Uh, the asset can produce up to 150,000 barrels per day production capacity. Uh, today, we believe it's producing something like 120,000 barrels per day. So from a, from a national interest standpoint, the production from this field is very important for the national output for Malaysia. Uh, and our charter, our client is, is Shell, um, and, um, and it's all locked up for the next, uh, there's still another 22 more years to go because it's a 25 year lease. So it's going to be a, it's a special asset dedicated for one field. Uh, and for us right now, it's just from MIC's perspective, it's 22 years of uh, secured income. Um, and over, in the past, we only have 50%, now we have 100%. So take this as um, MIC having invested in a new asset with a 22 years of lockup income in the current difficult environment with a very, very good client in the form of Shell. Um, and this is important for the uh, stability of the financial performance of MIC uh, in the years to come. We sold the equity to uh, to EPV, which is a, a special investment vehicle for Petronas. So it for 305 million, about four years ago, US dollar. And we are buying back at 445 million US dollars four years later. But the overall, don't forget, there's also borrowings involved. You must bear in mind, when we sold it to, to Petronas four years ago, the asset was under construction still and has not started uh, commenced uh, earning income. It has now been earning income for the past two years, two to three years now. There is no more construction risk, so we're taking over an ongoing asset which is producing. So today, the day when we complete the purchase, the next day we get our share of profit rate.